Thank <laughs> you.
You may be seated. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2015 Kankakee Community College Commencement Ceremony. It is my pleasure to welcome and to congratulate all of you, the graduating class of 2015. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, our faculty and staff, and our administration, I also want to welcome your family and friends who share in the celebration with each and every one of you. Please join me in thanking our brass ensemble, led by Mr. Paul Germano, They do a wonderful job every year for us. KCC's 46th commencement ceremony is being broadcast live on 91.1 FM and WKCCradio.org, and we welcome our listening audience in the community and across the world. For those of you who are active with our social media this morning, you can also tweet your graduation messages at hashtag KCCgrad2015. The ceremony will also be available online beginning on Monday, May 19th, for everyone to relive again at your pleasure. The journeys of our students, the, student, uh, the journeys that our students take are often vastly different in order to achieve their goals and their accomplishments. And we cannot begin describing all the amazing stories that exist in our seats here today. However, I can tell you that Kankakee Community College, the class of 2015, is made up of 471 graduates. Slightly more graduates will be over the age of 25 rather than younger. 239 will be over the age of 25 and 232 will be under. The average age of our graduates is 28 and the females far outnumber the male grads by the count of 300 to 171. <laughs> Before we continue our ceremony, I invite everyone, including our listening audience, to join me for a moment of reflection as we honor the significant accomplishments of our graduates here today. Thank you. It is my honor to introduce you a special group of citizens who are here with us this afternoon, the college's board of trustees. These are dedicated citizens who voluntarily voluntarily give of their time and to guide the college. If you would please hold your applause until all the board members have been introduced. For the board members, if you would please stand and remain standing until we've completed all of the introductions. From St. Anne, the chairman of our board, Mr. Jerry Hookstra. From Bourbon A, the vice chairman of the board, Mr. Brad Hovey. From Antino, secretary to the board, Mr. Patrick Martin. From Bourbon A, Mrs. Kathy Boykin. From St. Anne, Mr. Dick Fry. From Clifton, Mr. Todd Whitholm. From Reddick, Mr. Bill Orr. And from Kankakee, serving as our student trustee, Mr. Chavez Rosenthal. Please join me in thanking them for their service to the college. Also, hopefully in our audience today, we have our trustee emeritus from Union Hill, Mr. Hugh Van Voorst. Also joining me on stage is KCC's Vice President for Instructional and Student Success, Dr. Michael Boyd. Also joining us, our Faculty Association President and Professor in the Humanities and Social Sciences Division, Mr. Steve DePasquale. Now it is my privilege and honor to introduce to you our commencement speaker this morning. Former United States Secretary of Transportation and Illinois 18th Congressional District Representative, Mr. Raymond H. LaHood. Community, <laughs> almost, just. Community colleges are over 100 years old in this country. In fact, the very first community college that was ever established was established here 
in Illinois at Joliet Junior College. We are proud of the fact that for over these past 100 years, community colleges have provided quality education and access from border to border and from coast to coast. We've served several hundreds of millions over the years across this great country, and our success stories for community college graduates would amaze you. The future stories of our graduates today, those sitting in our seats someday, will amaze you. Our commencement speaker today is one of those amazing success stories himself. He is one of those amazing community college success stories. Mr. Ray LaHood is an American politician and a gifted leader who served as the United States Secretary of Transportation from 2009 until 2013. A Republican from Illinois, LaHood represented the Illinois 18th Congressional District in the U.S. House of Representatives from 1995 to 2009. He graduated from Spalding Institute, which is now known as Peoria Notre Dame High School, attended Canton Junior College, now known as Spoon River College in Illinois, and Bradley University in Peoria, earning a Bachelor's of Science in Education and Sociology in 1971. On December 19, 2008, President-elect Barack Obama announced that he would nominate LaHood to be his next Transportation Secretary. LaHood La served on the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. As a member of the House Appropriations Committee, he won praise for his skills as an arbiter in being able to bridge sometimes bitter partisan divides in Congress, something the position would require, and personally speaking, something that is needed today. His nomination was confirmed by the Senate by voice, by voice vote on January 21, 2009, and he was one of two Republican members on President Obama's cabinet. For over 20 years, I've known the former secretary. He has always been a champion and a supporter of education and of community colleges. Please join me in welcoming our commencement speaker for the class of 2015, former secretary Raymond H. LaHood. Well, good morning and congratulations. What a thrill for me to be one of the first people on this podium to congratulate all of you. As John indicated, uh, I have known him for more than two decades. Uh, while he was serving at Illinois Central College, I was serving in Congress and we became very good friends. And just so you all know how these things work, I ran into John a few months ago, and he said, uh, we need a commencement speaker at Kankakee Community College. Would you be willing to do it? And I said, of course I would be willing to do it. It would be a thrill and an honor to do it. So if any of you are thinking that my speech is boring, you blame the president of Kankakee Community College to Chairman Hoekstra and the outstanding KCC board, congratulations. I think all of you recognize that the members that serve on this board, they don't do it for the money because there is no money involved. They do it because of their spirit of public service and their interest in making sure that all of you get a good education and that all of you that are taxpayers are well served by the outstanding staff here at KCC. So I want to say a special word of congratulations to the Board of Trustees for their service. They run for the office and uh, they are elected to the office and they do it out of a spirit of public service. And I really want to thank them for that spirit of public service. I also want to say a special word of thanks, as I know that all of you will, to the administration and in particular to the faculty and the staff of this outstanding institution. I know that all of you have worked hard to be in those seats today, 
but you know too that they have worked hard so that you can sit in those seats today and accept the diplomas that you will receive. And I hope that you will all join me in a rousing show of appreciation to the faculty for all that they do to help you achieve what you've achieved here. Thank you. To the outstanding distinguished alumnus Jordan Arsenault and to all of the alums, thank you for being here. To the families and the friends of the graduates, congratulations. As the father of four grown children, I can tell you, I know how proud you are of these men and women and what they have achieved. And certainly, again, to all of you, congratulations. It is an honor for me to be here, and I thank you for the warm welcome that you have given to me. And I don't need to tell you that you hail from a very special place, the home of Yannicky's root beer stand, a timeless institution. <laughs> right? Yes. Of course. The best small community in Illinois to create jobs and grow businesses according to the prestigious Milligan Institute. One of the best places for business and career, careers according to Forbes. And sure, David Letterman hasn't always been kind, but President Obama was on his show a couple of weeks ago, and I had it on good authority that Letterman loves the new rocking chair that you made for him. And yet on this commencement day, as you begin writing your part of the next chapter in the great American story, I ask you to think briefly about a different kind of made in America story. I ask you to think about a bold creation that has bettered each of your lives, the communities you call home, and the country that you love. Starting in the second half of the 20th century, no American invention has been more crucial to preserving our democracy than institutions like KCC, what we call our community colleges. None. Or let me put it another way. Community colleges are America's most important idea. You know, there's a great story about America's beginnings at the close of our Constitutional Convention in 1787. Someone approached Benjamin Franklin and asked, quote, well, doctor, what have we got? A republic? or a monarchy? A Republican, Franklin replied, quote, if we can keep it. Well, we have kept it. And one of the reasons why that we're, we've never wavered in our commitment to accessibility, affordability, and public education. We've never wavered from our commitment to making sure that every American has the basic tools they need to become good workers, good parents, and good citizens. It's a bedrock value of our country, and a bipartisan one at that. Jefferson, the conscience of America's founding, put it best, quote, enlightened the people generally, and tyranny will, va will vanish, he said. So what does that require? It requires each of us to share in paving paths to opportunity. And when we do, everyone benefits as a consequence. For my part, I think my story is a perfect example. 44 years ago, I sat in the seats that you're sitting in, and I never imagined, nor did anyone in my class ever imagine that Ray LaHood would be a member of Congress or a Secretary of Transportation. And I say that to you because I see in your eyes, I see in your faces, people who someday will be members of Congress, doctors, lawyers, 
nurses, accountants, community leaders, maybe community college trustees. Now, I grew up 100 miles from here in Peoria, Illinois. My parents were never involved in politics. As a matter of fact, my parents owned a restaurant and worked very hard 12 hours a day every day. And when I was growing up and went to high school, I did a lot of odd jobs. My modest earnings supplemented the $225 annual tuition that my folks paid for me to attend local, my local Catholic high school. And again, I can tell you, nobody in my high school class ever wrote in the yearbook, Ray LaHood's going to be a congressman, or Ray LaHood's going to be DOT secretary, or Ray LaHood's going to be giving the commencement address at Kankakee Community College. No one. And that may be true for some of you, but you will achieve great things. Why? Because you got your start here, in this community, with your families, with the support of the community. When I graduated, I enrolled in a community college. In those days, Canton Junior College didn't even have its own buildings. We were in Canton Senior High School in four classrooms. We called it Canton Junior College. It was not a lavish way to get started in my higher education, but it was the perfect place for me to begin my journey just as KCC has been the perfect place for you all to begin. Graduates, my point is this. For me, community college made the impossible possible, just as it has for more than 100 million Americans during the last 100 years. Community colleges are the unsung heroes of our republic. They may not get the credit they deserve, and they certainly don't get all the resources they need. But for a, na a nation established on the idea that God gives each of us the right to pursue happiness as we see it, community colleges provide ordinary people, ordinary men and women like us, with ladders up to unimaginable heights. What's more, you don't need to take my word for it. Ask Jordan who won three, three Emmys. Ask Tom Hanks, the best actor of his generation. Ask Craig Venter, the man who sequenced the human genome. Ask Jim Lair, one of the nation's preeminent journalists. They first found and followed their paths at community colleges. Ask Ray LaHood, who started out at Canton Junior College in Canton, Illinois, in four little small classrooms behind the high school. These are places where young people can start their education without racking up a lot of debt. Places where workers learn new skills and find new ways forward in their careers. Places where single moms or returning soldiers or aspiring entrepreneurs can connect with the resources they need to build a better future for their families and for our country in turn. And so, this morning I challenge you to do the things that commencement speakers usually ask of their captive audience. And I'm almost done, and you're about ready to get your degrees. Lead lives of purpose and significance. Do good at the same time as you go out into the world and do well. But I also ask you to do something extra. Become foot soldiers in the fight to protect and promote America's community colleges. Because there's a lot of cynics out there who put down their value, who hold up places like this as mere budget lines to be cut, and who would have you believe that you've enjoyed the same opportunity, you could have enjoyed the same opportunities without KCC as you do because of it. Graduates, when you get where you're going, never forget where you came from or how you got there. Take pride in that fact. And as you become great business leaders, technicians or teachers, or perhaps even a congressman or a congresswoman, 
a community college trustee, a doctor, dentist, lawyer, nurse. Don't forget where you came from. You are living, breathing, succeeding examples of what sets America apart. The idea that everyone deserves a fair shot. In 1971, I was sitting where you were. I can't tell you who my commencement speaker was. And I suspect, and I won't be offended by this, that four decades from now, you'll long since have forgotten who your commencement speaker was. But from your years here, and during the course of your lifetimes, I hope you will answer this call. Become spokesmen, spokespeople, spokeswomen for America's community colleges. At a time when working families feel like so many doors are slammed in their faces, stand up for this Cherish Institution and the community college institutions that made the American dream possible for me and now for you. Congratulations, good luck, Godspeed. Thank you, Ray. At KCC, our motto is start here and finish anywhere. I hope all of you realize that this motto is the shortened version of what Secretary LaHood has just advised you today. Start with what you've learned here at KCC and you can go anywhere that your hard work, your talent, and your dedication and determination will take you. I would like to again express our appreciations to Secretary LaHood for sharing his message with us here this morning his passion with our graduates and with the audience. Your story, Ray, truly is an inspiration. And again, we thank you. At this time, I would like to ask Chairman Jerry Hookshire to please step up to the podium and recognize our newest trustee emeritus. Thank you. What a message. Isn't that something? Gives us good direction, doesn't it? It's, at this time, it's my privilege and to be able to do something for a wonderful lady here. Mrs. Mintz, would you please stand? Take your time. Good. Thank you. We would like to recognize you for your status as one of the three longest serving trustees in community college history, and for 39 years of service you gave to the college as a member of the Kankakee Board of Trustees. Through your leadership and guidance, you helped KCC grow to become a well-respected and fiscally strong institution. Your service contributed to the student success and the development of the college and its programs and facilities. We wish to formally thank you for your service and to bestow upon you the title of Trustee Emeritus. Congratulations, Mrs. Mintz, our friend. Thank you, Mr. Huckstra, and thank you, Betty, also. You truly have been an inspiration and a great supporter for this institution, for our students, and for this community. So we thank you for your years of service to Kankakee Community College. At this time, I would like to ask, introduce to you, Dr. Juan Jimenez. Dr. Jimenez has said his dream began at a community college as well. However, he never fully completed his degree at his community college. He has, however, been a neurosurgeon, 
at Riverside Medical Center in Kankakee since 2006. He is also the medical director at Neurosurgery Consultants at Riverside and assistant professor at neurosurgery at Rush University Medical Center in Chicago. Dr. Jimenez earned a Bachelor of Science degree, summa cum laude, from the University of California, Riverside in 1992. While attending medical school at the University of California, Los Angeles, he was the National Hispanic Scholarship Fund Award recipient in 1994. He graduated from the UCLA School of Medicine in 1996. Dr. Jimenez completed an internship in general surgery at the University of Miami, and then was a neurosurgery resident also at the University of Miami. He completed his second residency in neurosurgery at Rush University Medical Center. Dr. Jimenez has received the Joshua Brown Research Award in 1993, the Medical Student Award for Research Excellence in 1993, and was named the University of Miami Surgical Intern of the Year in 1997. Dr. Jimenez resides in the area with his wife and his four children. However, I would like to think that another great accomplishment is about to unfold. On behalf of the Kankakee Community College Board of Trustees, we would like to help you fulfill your dream that you had when you once started your educational journey, Juan. In recognition of your academic professional accomplishments, as well as your professional and personal investment in our students, we would like to bestow upon you the honorary degree of Associate in Science degree from Kankakee Community College. Dr. Jimenez, if you would please step forward. This honorary degree is only the second in the college's history that we've bestowed on anyone. Mr. Hookster, if you would please join me at the podium again. We would like to recognize our student trustee. Would student trustee Chavez Rosenthal please come forward. In recognition of your efforts with the, our Student Ad Advisory Council and the Student Activity Programs, as well as your contribution as Student Representative to the Board of Trustees, we wish to honor you with a resolution which formally thanks you for your service. Congratulations, Chavez. And now I would like to invite to the, case, to the podium our KCC Faculty Association President, Mr. Steve DePasquale. As we focus today on the accomplishments of our graduates, it is also important to recognize the accomplishments of our faculty as well. I would like Ms. Mary Steichen, speech professor, and Mr. Ron Shank, Adjunct Professor for the Humanities and Social Sciences Division. If you would please come and join me at the podium. Each year, KCC faculty, staff, and students nominate one full-time and one part-time faculty member who are selected by the faculty committee for the KCC Faculty of the Year Award and for the Illinois Community College Trustees Association Outstanding Faculty Members of the Year. Ms. Steichen and Mr. Ron Shank were nominated because they demonstrate excellence in teaching, initiate or help the development of initiative programs, provide leadership in helping to solve challenges, and keep pace with the current theories and practices within their respective disciplines. Ms. Steichen and Mr. Ron Shank, on behalf of the Board of Trustees of the College, and the college community, we would like to bestow upon you a commemorative outstanding faculty recognition medallion for your accomplishments and your achievement.
Let's thank them again for an outstanding job. At this point in the ceremony, I would like to ask all of the KCC faculty to please stand and be recognized. Our faculty, the KCC faculty, these individuals, they dedicate their time, impart their expertise and wisdom, and share their talent each day to help our students to succeed and to achieve their goals. Please join me one more time in thanking them for their outstanding service to our students and our college. Thank you, everyone. And now I would like to ask the rest of the college's administration and staff to please stand. They too have committed their talents and support in helping our students reach their goals and their accomplishments. Please join me in expressing our appreciation for their commitment and dedication to all of our graduates here this evening as well. We truly are an outstanding institution, and I couldn't be more proud to work with these colleagues each and every day. I would now like to ask the students who have or who are currently serving in our military services to please stand. Please remain, remain standing, remain standing. These dedicated students have balanced their studies, the lives of their families, and their commitment to our country. The stoles that they are wearing signify their military involvement. So let's thank them one more time for their continued service to our country. And now I invite all staff members and audience participants, anyone who has served in our military to please stand and also be recognized. On behalf of the Kankakee Community College, our Board of Trustees, our faculty, our staff, and our students, I would like to commend you and your family for the sacrifices that you make and the service that you have provided for our country. We say thank you. You may be seated. Before we start conferring our degrees, I do want to have one just quick announcement, if I can veer from the script a little bit. Um, we have a number of our graduates who could not be with us today, but we also want to keep them in the back of our minds as they are celebrating themselves. Our women's softball team will be playing today at 1.30 for the national championship for Kankakee Community College. We wish them great success, and we know the sophomores would rather you probably be there than rather be here, are we sure so? At this time, we will commence with the conferring of our degrees. Would all the graduates please stand? <laughs> Mr. Hookstra, if you would please join me at the podium. Mr. Chairman, on behalf of the administration, the faculty and staff of Kankakee Community College, I present the graduating class of 2015. <laughs> Upon recommendation and approval of the faculty, I hereby certify that they have completed the necessary requirements as established by Kankakee Community College, District 520, for the certificates and degrees that they are to receive. <clears throat> and
As chairman of the Board of Trustees at Kankakee Community College, District 520, I do hereby confer upon the graduates those certificates of completion and degrees as appropriate. On behalf of the entire board, I would like to congratulate all of you graduates. You've worked hard to reach your goal, and we celebrate with you in every way. Graduates, you may be seated. I would ask KCC's Vice President for Instructional and Student Success, Dr. Michael Boyd, to come to the podium to highlight the significance of the colored cords and stoles that many of our graduates are wearing here this morning. Dr. Boyd. You will notice some of our graduates are wearing significant cords, stoles, and tassels. These items indicate scholastic achievement. As I explain the various honors, please hold your applause until all have been recognized. Would the students wearing a salmon honor cord please stand? The salmon honor cord signifies membership in the Alpha, Delta, Nu, Eta chapter of the National Organization for Associate Degree Nursing. You may be seated. Would the students wearing a purple honor cord please stand? The purple honor cord signifies membership in Lambda, Lambda Epsilon Chi National Honor Society in paralegal and legal assistance studies. You may be seated. Would the students who are members of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society please stand? These students have maintained a 3.5 out of a possible 4.0 grade point average. The gold stole and tassel signifies this honor. You may be seated. Would the students wearing a silver honor cord and tassel please stand? These students have achieved a 3.8 to 3.99 grade point average. You may be seated. Would the students wearing a gold honor cord and tassel please stand? These students have achieved a 4.0 grade point average, which is the highest grade point average possible. You may be seated. Please give all of these students a collective round of applause for their achievement. Congratulations. I would again ask uh, Chairman Hoekstra to please join me at the podium. Mr. Chairman, I will now invite Dr. Boyd to present the class of 2015 individually. I encourage you to acknowledge your graduate with applause if you'd like as he or she walks across our stage. And this is the time. If you have a Twitter account, please take a moment to share your best wishes with our graduates or tweet your thoughts and the observations during our ceremony, our graduation ceremony. Please include the hashtag KCCGrad2015 in each and every one of your tweets. Got that, Dad? The message will continue to rotate at www.kcc.edu slash grad tweets. At this time, I will ask Mr. Hookstrom and Mr. De Steve DePasquale to please join me at the diploma table as Dr. Boyd calls all of our graduates. We will be recognizing our graduates according to the degree or certificate they have earned. Our first group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Arts degree. Jamie Lee Baker.
Hermin Barbosa. Jamie Lynn Barr. Brittany Madison Bellick. Gustan Beltran, Jr. Bianca M. Beltran. Cassidy Ray Bonnell. Kendall Judith Bosong. Amanda Lee Boyd. Sandra Philly Chavez. Kelly Ann Coy. Austin C. Crowley. Megan Therese Dillard. Holly A. Dion. Jessica Page Donahue. Noah C. Emerson. Brianna Amanda Fabsitz. Lakita Chanta Foster. Michelle Shermay Folks. Lauren Kathleen Fox. Gino Candido Galliaz. Ashley Nicole Glover. Daisy A. Guzman. Tyler Dean Hamlin. Dakota M.S. Hampton. Tara Lee Hansen. Anna Louise Harris. Jacob Michael Hoskins. Shade Avanika Johnson. Twana M. King Bryant. Alyssa Ann Lafond. Jared A. LeMay. Alexander Malinick. Jenna Lee Markell. Mary Catherine Martinez. Jordan E. Morandi. Christopher Howard Moody. Brock Walter Myers. Kelsey, Kelsey Marie, Marie O'Brien. Jacqueline Helen Paget. Michael T. Pope. Emily A. Riley. Savannah Rose Reno. Erica Lynn Renolet. Diana Cavena Rhodes. 
Tracy Ann Rice. Chavez Devon Rosenthal. Chavez Devon Rosenthal was named to the 2015 Phi Theta Kappa All-Illinois Academic Team. He was among 60 community college students recognized in Springfield as a member of the All-Academic Team. This is a merit award based upon his academic accomplishments and service contributions. Reggie J. Runnels. Zachary Thomas Rupp. Dominique Imani Sanders. Nicole M. Shreddle. Craig Michael Schrader. Dylan G. Schweitzer. Emily Ann Saderholm. Sheila T. Smith. Jordan A. Steinke. Whitney Ray Walter. Derek Ryan Wunder. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Fine Arts degree. David Lee Lestilla. Griselle Sanchez. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Engineering Science degree. Brant Christian Caleb Beland. John Matthew Behrens. Anthony D. Gilbert. Ryan P. McGinnis. Amy L. Minus. John Gerald Saliba. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Science degree. Nicole Marie Avendano. Nicole Marie Avendano was named to the 2015 Phi Theta Kappa All-Illinois Academic Team. She was among 60 community college students recognized in Springfield as a member of the all-academic team. This is a merit award based upon her academic accomplishments and service contributions. <laughs> Selena Marie Danderan. Derek George Fick. Sarah Marie Fortin. Tori Sue Frame. Taylor Sheridan Gilbert. Timothy 
Dyrod Gray. Taylor Lauren Harms. Grant M. Hornback. Janie Lynn Miller. Morgan Maureen Mitchell. Colin Matthew Persak. Allison Shea Quinn. Courtney McKenna Russell. Christopher Lee Schoen. Andrew Peter Slazik. Joshua Aaron Steele. Destiny Marie Stone. Evan James Wonder. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in General Studies degree. Janae Nicole Barnett. Ivante Shamar Brooks. Cassandra M. Cook. Francis Joy Kulik. Tabitha A. Evitz. Alfreda E. Freeman. Jamie L. Gimo. Kyle Joseph Hornback. Carmel Lafee. Alyssa Renee Lamontagne. Diana Rochelle Monroe. Lori Shannon Papineau. Rhonda Lynn Petty. Caitlin Nicole Pierce. Felicia Monique Riley. Jessica A. Robinson. Taisha Monique Smith. Diane Taylor. Andrea M. Wilson. Elizabeth Jane Zuber. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree, Agriculture Horticulture Programs. Linda Carol Nitz Mercant. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree, Automotive Technology Program, Ryan Austin Heimberger. Michael J. Robilata. Heriberto Zavala. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree business programs. Jesus Ayala. Michelle Babiars. Wanda M. Burnett. Congratulations. 
El Tovis Latrice Dabney. Austin Lawrence Freehill. Luis A. Gomez. Timothy Bernard Hammer. Marla Lockett Robinson. Adeline Ankara Medina. Amanda Nicole Moore. Maya Rayshawn Morris. Callan E. Munson. Kimberly Diane Price. Eddie D. Rice, Jr. Arael Serrano. Courtney D. Schott. Sarah Smith. Lindsay Nicole Wigsmone. Linda S. Zullo. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree Child Development Program. Brooke L. Carmichael. Kayla Marie Duffy. Donna L. Jones. Caitlin E. Jones. Tanya Neely. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree Computer-Aided Drafting Program. Timothy David Goodman. John Riley Hawkins III. Stephen Roy Hano. DJ Ramirez. David D. Snyder. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree Construction Management Program. Kyle Michael Kurtzinger. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree Computer Graphic Design Program. Luis H. Diaz. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree Electrical Technology Program, Travis W. Collette. Aaron Michael Peters. Christine Joy Salmons. Jonathan R. Suthe. Brett William Sparenberg. Our next group of uh, graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree Law Enforcement Program. Ashley K. Nicole Bennett. Pauline Elta Brown. Ronnie Collins. Tyler John Hammond. Lasithia Latisha Harris. Jessica N. Lafond. Heather 
A. Lemke. Teresa Calderon Luvian. Christopher Bryant Springer. Cassandra Ann Stipp. Chad William Zimmerman. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science Degree Paralegal Legal, Assist uh, Legal Assistance Studies Program. Stacy Ann Mullet. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science Degree Paraprofessional Educator Program. Autumn L. Lawrence. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science Degree Manufacturing Technology Program, Frank Stokely, Jr. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science Degree Office Professional Program, Jessica J. Jaragoski. Prudence Laurie. Donna M. Simpson. Jennifer Snow. Do you need a bag? LaShawn A. Williams. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree Welding Technology Program. Gerald Edward Berry. Ronald P. Harrowood. Marla E. Kincaid. Sydney Lilly. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree Medical Laboratory Technology Program. Lizbeth Gonzalez. Azusa Kawamura. Alyssa A. Kennedy. Aaron E. Koch. Sherry Marie McCormick. Volha Namilenseva. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree Paramedic Program. Robert J. Bick. Bryce Kenneth Budamir. Megan Josephine Heck. Stephanie Eileen Powell. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree Physical Therapist Assistant Program. Terilyn Victoria Jackson. Kristen L. Jones. Gregory James Cunuzzi. Cynthia Ann Lewis. Kristen Marie Murphy. Ryan T. Murray. Andrew J. Prophet. Elizabeth Faye Putman. O'Neill Arthur Rimson. Jennifer S. Summer. Sarah K. Yantis. 
Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree radiography program. Vic Victoria Rose Diaz. Lauren Danielle Faber. Sarah Louise Hurler. Crystal Meyer. Danielle R. Richardson Crosby. Brandy K. Wheeler. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree Registered Nursing Program. Iris N. Aguilar. Samantha Ray Bassa. Monica Ann Bruins. Kimberly A. Kerwick. Crystal Monique Davis. Tamara Finesse Fonstock. Rebecca Jean Foltz. Robert C. Hensley. Ashley Brianne Hudson. Keisha Renee Jefferson. Nicole Janine Lambert. Kayla Jean Mathias. Charmaine T. Mangantulo. Tammy Lynn Mulder. Brianna Marie Nelson. Lindsay Danielle O'Connor. Tonya Pena. Laura L. Peters. Megan Marie Richardson. Natasha Marie Richmond. Ashton Nicole Sandin. Kelsey Marie Seeger. Shannon Noreen Shoemaker. Katie Lynn Terrell. Desiree Aaron Von Werder. Shelly Lynn White. Ryan Charles Scott Weitzel. Tanya R. Woods. Our next group of graduates are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree Respiratory Therapy Program. Brandy Lee Clunan. Kaylee Marie Heilman. Shanette Walker. Gina Christine Werner.
Julie M. Williamson. Our final group of graduates are advanced certificate candidates. Corey A. Barham. Ashley Monique Barney. Suzanne Marie Bass. Quincy Taylor Cowell. Samantha Marie Hayes. Josh D. Hudson. Dawn Ann Jones. Megan Nicole Kimmery. Sherry Lane. Michelle L. Love. Crystal Noreen Ann McKean. Stephanie Lorraine Postmuller. Donnie Muhammad. Marie B. Sueka. Nicole Marie Voits. Kendrick Marquis Williamson. What do you think? Graduating class of 2015? Please, please join me also in thanking Dr. Michael Boyd for the announcing of the names. That's a tremendous accomplishment. The graduation symbolizes a major achievement in life and learning. In recognition of that achievement, it has been a tradition in academia to recognize the fully commenced student by the shifting of the tassel from the right side of the cap to the left side of the cap. To help us with that, I would ask that your student representative, Mr. Chavez Rosenthal, to please join me at the podium for our graduating class of 2015. Graduates, please stand. As graduates of the Kankakee Community College Class of 2015, I invite you to please join me in the symbolic movement of the test of signifying our achievement. Thank you, Chavez. You may all please be seated. As the newest members of the Kankakee Community College Alumni Association, we would like to invite you to receive a special gift from our foundation, a leather portfolio. It's in honor of your accomplishment. Inside your diplomas, you will find a receipt that you can please take to the alumni table as you exit today in the Student Center and receive your gift after the ceremony. This gift not only signifies your accomplishment, but also 
is your membership to Kankakee Community College alumni. Please take it and please enjoy it. I know that you will value your KCC education and you are filled with Cavalier pride. Today, as you are honored for your success, I hope that you will continue to support Kankakee Community College and think of those students in the future and find ways to pay it forward. Audience, one more time, if you please join me in congratulating and recognizing the graduating class of Kankakee Community College 2015. It has been a great day, a great of celebration. As we leave here today, the order of the recessional will be those on the platform first. Our faculty, staff, and administration will then follow, and then finally our graduates. If you would, please, to honor our graduates, I would ask that the audience please remain seated until the faculty, I know, we'll, you'll, we'll get you caught up. Don't worry about it, you'll be all right. <laughs> please remain seated until the faculty, administration, and students have left the gymnasium. And we ask for the patience of our guests, those seated in the upper balcony, you will proceed to the first floor seating area once we are completed. The grads will remain in their cap and gowns once they are in the student center. For those who wish to take any additional uh, photographs and to visit and celebrate your accomplishment today. Again, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, the faculty, staff, we would also like to extend an invitation to all of you to join us in our student center in honor of our graduates here today. I have one final invitation to extend to the graduates as we conclude the 2015 Kankakee Community College ceremony. And that is, if there's ever a time in the future that you will continue to need help, perhaps you've decided to change your careers or you're just wondering what to do next with your life, know that the faculty, staff, and the resources of Kankakee Community College will always remain here to be of service and support to all of you. We trust that your experiences at KCC have prepared you for the next level. In fact, I am confident they have prepared you for what you will face in life. More importantly, we want KCC to be your resource for your lifelong learning experiences and your continued intellectual growth. I hope that you will remember that we at Kankakee Community College stand ready to assist you at any time and whenever manner is necessary. Please come back and visit us, continue your education, be a lifelong learner, and know that we are always here and ready to serve you. Never lose that curiosity, never lose that passion for continued learning. I challenge you here today. For now, our recessional, I ask the stage entourage to please stand. Faculty and administrators, would you please stand? And graduates, would you please stand? Mr. Germano, lead us home.
something else? Coach is out there. Always do one more.